Good evening and welcome to Just Event Online News at 9. I'm an fact, it's not you. The new airline. To know about the crimes level in Nigeria are cyber crimes haven. Our government says Nigeria lose three billion dollar annually to poor sanitation. Two hundred thousand are minimum wage no longer realistic. Labor says representatives receive bills for constitution review. The speaker. Our government subscaling of hydrogen production for utilization. Amotel conducts 31 suspects for alleged kidnapping or other crimes in Undo. The FCC uncovers religious sex laundry money for terrorists. Osimen Simon Econ pass house anti doping test. Now the news in details. President Bola Tinobu on Wednesday voiced his concern over the negative portrayal of Nigeria as a country with high cybercrime privilege. He emphasized that such opinions undermine the integrity and diligence upheld by the majority of Nigerian citizens. The federal government has disclosed that Nigeria is currently off track concerning progress on achieving the global sustainable development goal sanitation targets and is regrettably among those behind. It also stated that the country loses about $3 billion annually due to poor sanitation arising from the use of unsanitary or shared cleaning and open defecation. The Nigerian Labour Congress, NLC, has said that 200,000 naira minimum wage it earlier proposed to the federal government was no longer realistic, considering the country's current economic situation. The Congress, which spoke through its national vice president, Tommy Etim, was reacting to Tuesday's inauguration of the minimum wage committee by Vice President Kashim Chichima. Benjamin Kalu, the Deputy Speaker of the House and Chairman of House Committee on Constitution Review, has revealed that the House of Representatives has received approximately 40 bills aimed at amending the 1999 Constitution. Addressing the inaugural meeting of the Constitution Review Committee, Kalu explained that the Speaker and House leadership established the committee to oversee reforms and amendments to the constitution during the 10th National Assembly. The federal government has urged technical partners to come up with measures on how to upskill the production of hydrogen for utilization in Nigeria. Hydrogen is, a, hydrogen is a green energy that is highly valuable for fueling in the transport sector and also for electricity generation. Energy Commission of Nigeria, Director General Abdullahi Mustafa, who made the call, reviews that the major barrier to the utilization of hydrogen is how to upscale its production. The Western Nigerian Security Network, Amoteko calls in Ondo State, said it has arrested 31 suspects for various alleged crimes across 18 local government areas of that state. Adetunji Adelaye, commander of the Amoteko cause, made his known while parading a suspect before newsmen on Wednesday in Akure. He said the suspects were arrested for offenses, including alleged kidnapping, illegal possession of firearms, and those that specialized in breaking of shots and houses. The chairman of the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, ESDC, Ola Olukwede, has revealed that the Anti-Graft Agency 
uncovered how a religious sect in Nigeria is laundering money for terrorists. He also revealed that another religious body was found to be protecting a money launderer after some money suspected to have been laundered was traced to the organization's bank account. That on the news is sport. That child of Victor Osimen, Moses Simon, and William Struth Ekon files a confederation of African football random anti doping tests and are now claimed to take part in their quarter final clash with Angola on Friday. FC Nantes winger Simon Lucy's and Super Eagles captain William Jones were also subjected to dope tests. Come to the end of the news at night. Here's a recap of the story. Sinobu the cries labeling Nigeria as cybercrime is Avon. The government says Nigeria loses $3 billion annually to poor sanitation. 200,000 Naira minimum wage no longer realistic, labor says. Representatives receive 40 bills for constitution review. The government seeks obtaining of hydrogen production for utilization. Amatekun lab 39 suspects for alleged kidnapping or the crimes in Ondo. PFCC on Corbas religious laundry money for terrorists and on sport. Osimen Simon, Ekong Pass, Cubs and Doping Test. Thank you for watching Just Event Online News. Remember, Nothing can be done without hope and confidence. For more news, visit www.justeventsonline.com and to read more updates, follow us on our social media platforms with a tab at Just Events Online. You can also send us an email on justeventsonline at gmail.com. Good night.